Well, shortly before his death, Howard Zinn spoke about his views on the role of society, the world, and the United States. Here are his own words, starting with his own legacy. I guess I, I, if I want to be remembered for anything, it's for, for sort of introducing a, a different way of thinking about the world, about war, about human rights, about equality, uh, for getting more and more people to think that way, and f also for getting more people to realize that the power uh, which rests so far in the hands of people with wealth and guns, that the power ultimately rests in people themselves and that they can use it. And at certain points in history, they have used it. Uh, black people in the South used it. People in the women's movement used it. People in the anti-war movement used it. People in other countries who have overthrown tyrannies have used it. And I want, yeah, so I want to, why don't you remember this, somebody who, who gave people a feeling of hope and power that they didn't have before. And I, I believe that uh, we need a society where the motive for the economic system is not corporate profit, but the motive is uh, the welfare of people, uh, health care and jobs and child care and so on. Where that, that is dominant, where there's a greater equalization of wealth uh, and uh, a society which is peaceful, which devotes its resources to um, helping people in the country and elsewhere and and I believe in a world where war is no longer the recourse for the settling of grievances and problems I believe in the wiping out of national boundaries and uh, I don't believe in visas and passports and immigration quotas uh, I think we need to move towards a global society they use the word globalization but they use it in a very narrow sense to mean the freedom of corporations to move across boundaries, but what we need is the freedom of people and things to move, move across boundaries. So you know, my, if you, when I talk about socialism without jails, I mean, yes, greater uh, societal intervention uh, into the economy, but without deprivation of civil liberties. And I think people are trying to work their way towards a more democratic society wherever possible and, um, and to do it without war and and I think this movement towards a uh, more democratic society societies more concerned with human rights oh we've already seen it begin to happen in Latin America with m movements from um, autocratic and elitist states to more populous states uh, and it may be that the European Union represents this in some way and uh, uh, it's a long-term process but I think you know what is going on is an attempt to create a world which is different than the world of the past hundred years which was a world of incessant war and domination of the world by superpowers first two superpowers and now one superpower and if you want to hear more of Howard Zinn's last words head to bigthink.com or log on to our website where you'll find a link